Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm Polly. Got my glasses on. <laughs> my eyes are getting tired. So we're gonna do a review for this fragrance, D600 Out of Perfume from by um, Carnair from Barcelona. Carnair, Carnair. I don't know. Either way, let's get to the review. So starting with the notes, I'm gonna spray a little bit. So I wear this one, and let's see. So the opening, pepper, grapefruit, bergamot. Yeah, <laughs> but when you hear uh, grapefruit and bergamot, you're thinking very zesty, fresh, bright citrus. I, in that scenario, I would say pepper is more dominating, but not in a way that makes you want to sneeze. And it, like there is it. The opening jumps, but I would never categorize the opening as fresh, zesty, okay? Then in the heart, iris, big player, cardamom, and jasmine, okay? Then in the base, you have vanilla, vetiver, and Virginia cedar. So, first, I would categorize this as male fragrance, leaning unisex better said approachable for women to wear so if you're a woman like me who enjoys wearing masculine fragrance unisex fragrance leaning masculine then this is going to be a unisex for you but it's definitely it's definitely a masculine more leaning fragrance it's technically an earthy peppery earthy iris Okay, you really get the iris, but it's not, there's nothing powdery here, nor is there any kind of cleaning detergent or that clean iris that gives a very clean feeling to the fragrance. It, it doesn't exist here. I don't think the pepper and the cardamom are going to let it be. So it's more that you really do get them those woods and the vanilla at the base after the opening kind of subsides it skin it doesn't last great on my skin it lasts a much longer it will last a long time on clothes not much on skin um for me it's not a beast it kind of just sits right here i think this fragrance honestly for a man this is this is kind of a year round but i wouldn't like this uh, for summer it's not a summer scent i think this is great for like cold spring uh fall it would be great because it has a very like that earthy peppery the iris almost gives it more of a gray like a very gray purple tone so it's more a bit of a fog falls into this fragrance. I love this. I wear this more for like bedtime or I don't know. It gives me a bit of like, it's very calming. I find it to be, um, I call the melancholic just because anything that gives me a bit of a fall winter vibe and I'm, I'm picking up something gray or f like fog. Like I wanted to like, gray skies and this fragrance will be great like a rainy gray day would be fabulous i really think this would be fantastic for men and it's a very easy fragrance there's nothing very um difficult or hard this is not a very you know difficult niche scenario I really like it right now more vanilla and um, kind of the vetiver instead of coming through if you're looking at the jasmine so ignore the jasmine if it's doing something let it do whatever it needs to do but to think that the jasmine you're actually gonna smell jasmine or it's gonna have a very strong floral undertone I would say no so if you're a man, you're looking at this fragrance, yay, nay, you're seeing jasmine, you're like, oh, where are we going with that? Ignore. Just just move on from the jasmine. If you're thinking the open is going to be very fresh and zesty, no. Um, 
it's if you're thinking like grapefruit and the bergamot think of them as very not stale just not fresh zesty summer like anything that associates with that it's not okay it's really not right now you're getting more vanilla and iris coming through with that pepper with kind of that cedar and vanilla it is really 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 freaking good i'm sorry this is fantastic this is so good this on a man on a sweater this is daytime daytime a walk in the park a coffee shop lunch like sitting you know when it's kind of i'm thinking europe right now because for me this is associated with europe those uh cafes when you're sitting outside it might be a little a little cold a little gray skies but you can still sit outside and drink your like some i don't know hot cider or something like that it very beautiful there's warmth to it especially the dry down with the iris cedar and vanilla but it's still with that pepper and it's a little earthy this is gorgeous definitely very gorgeous it's not going to choke nobody i think it's actually going to invite somebody there's something very intriguing in it that is going to pull a person to want to smell there's something very elegant and classy about it um i also really appreciate when a fragrance doesn't scream its presence like it's pulled back like it's not obnoxious like hey i'm here you know there's something to say about something more subdued something more pulled back something a little bit more restrained um and it's a really good quality in a man in my opinion so this I have to say is fantastic fantastic I would love to smell this on a man but my man does not like fragrances so I have to smell this on myself which I do enjoy but I think it really will shine on a man and you know a lot of times I will say unisex and it is unisex and like I said if you're a woman and you have my taste and you like masculine fragrances feel free there's really nothing to be scared here but for a man, I wow, it, it will be so good. So, so, so good. So good. So that is it for today. Um, I hope it kind of helped somebody this little review. Thank you for joining. Thank you for watching. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye.